Welcome to Epic Yarn Gems. This will be my last video of 2019. This week I will be showing you part one of a two-part series on how to make a basic beanie. This week I will be demonstrating how to make the top-down version, which is on the right-hand side of this picture. I did make this beanie a little bit smaller. It measures 19 inches around and the length is six and a half inches. If you want to make the beanie smaller or larger, you just need to change the number of increases that you do. To get started, we will be doing a magic ring. And in our magic ring, we will be putting 10 double crochets into the center of the ring. So once you have your ring started, you will do a chain two to start. This does not count as a stitch. And then you'll be doing 10 double crochets into the center. So by way of reminder, a double crochet, you yarn over, go into the center of the circle, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the last two. And you will do this until you have 10, and at the end you will do a slip stitch join. It's important to make sure that you start with the number of stitches because we will be increasing based upon those stitches that you have in your circle right now. Also, when you are doing a magic circle, make sure you pull that tail so that the hole in the center gets as small as it can so there's not a big hole in the middle of your hat. After our slip stitch join, we will be doing a chain two. The chain two will never count as a stitch for this hat. So then after we do that, we're going to go into that same stitch that we did the chain two, and we are going to do two double crochets into that stitch. And you are going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So each stitch will have two double crochets, and then once you get to the end, or back to the beginning, I guess, you will be doing a slip stitch join, and you should have a total of 20 stitches at this point. To finish up that last round, you will be doing a slip stitch join, and then you will be doing a chain two. Just uh, for your information, as we continue to do these increases in actually every row in this hat, what you will be doing is you'll be starting with the chain two, and you'll be ending with the slip stitch join. So in this round, we are going to do a double crochet into that first stitch, same as where the chain two started, and then in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. After you get done with this round, you will have a total of 30 stitches. Uh, just for your information, we will be working up to a total of 50 stitches all the way around, and that makes the size hat of the 19 inches around that I had mentioned earlier. So as we finish up this round, like I said, you are going to always start with a chain two, and then you will do a double crochet in the first stitch, a double crochet in the second stitch, and then in that third stitch, you will do two double crochets, and this will increase your rounds up to 40. I will also be putting a link into a video that I made that shows how to do increases, just in case uh, you need a little more information on how the pattern goes to do that. In this next row, this is our final row of increases, and then we will just be doing straight rounds. So after your chain two, you're going to do a double crochet in the next three stitches, and then in the fourth stitch, you're going to do two double crochets, and that will give you a total of 50 stitches all the way around. For this size of hat, you will be doing rows five through nine, starting with your chain two, and just putting double crochets in each of the stitches all the way around, and you will end with a slip stitch join, and you will have 50 stitch in each of these rows. My preferred way to make a hat is a top down. I just like the shape it makes and it does work out better for me, but I do know a lot of people who like to work from the bottom up, so I'll be showing you that next week. So after we get to the end of that row, we're gonna change our color and you're going to do a double crochet. And after you yarn over and you have two loops left on your hook, you're going to bring in your next color. And you're going to finish that double crochet with that next color. So you just lay it across your hook and pull it through those last two loops. You uh, want to make sure things are tight but not too tight, otherwise the stitches look a little wonky. But you do not want um, your yarn to come undone. So you do want it a little, little tight in there. So here we are going to start um, our next row with the slip stitch join from the previous row, but we're going to be using in that second color. And we will just do that slip stitch join. 
and making sure that things are tight. Oh, like I said, not too tight, but just so that it does look like a natural stitch. And then we are going to do our chain two. After that, we're going to be doing double crochets in each of the stitches all the way around. When you are doing a hat uh, with the brim using the front post and back post double crochets, I always like to start off with a row of the color that you're going to be using. Otherwise, it does make a little bit of a wonky edge if you go directly into the primary color, but um, it does work up either way. So after we finish this row, what we're going to do is we're going to start again with a chain two, and this will be for the last two rows. So we do that slip stitch join, chain two, and then we're going to do a front post double crochet. And to do that, you are going to yarn over, and you're going to go in through the front, around the back, and back out the front of the post. So, of that double crochet, and then you're just going to finish your double crochet. Then you are going to go into the back, so you're going to yarn over, come from the back, go around the front, and come out the back again. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the last two. And you're going to do that all the way around, and you're going to do that for the last rows. And then once you're done, you will just weave in your ends, and you will have a beanie. Uh, thank you for joining me at Epic Yarn Gems today. I do appreciate all of your support. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and leave me some comments. Also, if you'd like to see my next video, uh, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Thanks and have a great day.